Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that you too will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Lord, there are more possibilities in you. And I open my heart, even as your servant has shared, my heart is open for more. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's bless the Lord for it, Jimmy. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, let me tell you something about spiritual growth. The one who seeks growth does not choose his diet. Are you getting what I'm saying? It is arrogance to want to rise to a dimension and then want to choose what you want to eat. Have you seen parents force children? The child says, I want sweet. The mother says, you need pap. You see, let me tell you something. Um, while I sat down listening to him share these things, I was only hoping hoping that we don't get familiar and just recite it back but truly believe it. It's painful to have revelation that does not transcend into results in your life. It's frustrating because no man can correct you. You already know what you need but the grace to make it work. This issue of transformation, you've, you've seen us drum this thing again and again. You know, I was almost, honestly, it's just, I'm just up here to lead us to pray. Because for me, I think that this, you will never hear it enough. It didn't take two services for you to get the wrong ideologies that are fighting your destiny. It will not take just a sermon. It will take repetition of new ideas. Repetition. 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 I was just thinking while on my way coming, I was saying, oh God, I pray that whatever is being shared before your people, they would listen. They would believe. Please hear me. The person who ever makes you think what you are being taught here is a small issue, has cheated you in no small way. Not even an armed robber has cheated you that way. If you steal my money or you steal wallet or hack my account, You've not done anything to me. But if you make me think in a certain way and navigate my life towards destruction, you really have destroyed me. Are we together? People have lost their legs. People lost cars. People lost houses. They lost businesses. But something active within them reproduced those possibilities again. But let me tell you the truth. You can have everything but a bankrupt mentality and you will move no further than you are there. I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, this mind thing, I will give it no rest till I am radically transformed. Please pray. Never trivialize it. This is the key. Don't wait to listen to this message. After 10 years of misery, 
10 years of trying, guessing. Brothers and sisters, I tell you the truth, this is how it works. It is the key. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for affect my life, breathe on me. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what is happening to many of us. You are sitting in a destiny time bomb. You know how someone sits in a time bomb? When you keep pumping a balloon, a time comes it cannot contain itself. The air you are putting in is too much for that space. And it will tear open. The sons of the prophet told the prophet, he said, where we meet with you is too small. You have enlarged our capacity beyond this level. Very soon, your level will start rejecting you. Something you are receiving, listen, is creating a reaction. You will not pray for it again. Something about your current level will start pushing you. Let me tell you how the pushing will come. It will come through criticism. Those around you can no longer stand it. They say, no, no, no. I'm, I'm pretending it, but now I can't take it again. New opportunities, certain things will have to stretch and push you. You are sitting on a time bomb. And let me tell you something. Many of you will be remarkably shocked. I get, I get text messages from people who once had the privilege to be in this environment and be changed. They call me all the time saying, how can I thank you? Thank God I paid attention to this truth. When you are lost, it is wise to listen to someone who has found his way. You see, most people do not even know what they need to succeed, but they will argue when they are given the keys. It's pride. It truly is pride. Let me show you a scripture. Acts chapter 13, verse 41. What a Jimmy shared just, it touched me. As though it wasn't me who preached it. 1341, please. You want to receive maximally from Koinonia, be a child. Be a child. This big manism, man of Godism, throw it out before you come in. Be a child. When you are humble enough to be mentored and to be shown the way, your life will rise like an edifice. It says, behold, despise us wander and perish he says for I will walk a walk in your days a walk which ye, which ye shall in no wise believe though a man declare it unto you I am doing something in a man's life like a trophy and he said a time will come I will walk a walk that when people hear that it's the same you Aaron they will say, no, no, which Aaron? Aaron that I know. They said, is Saul also one of the prophets? When Samuel was talking to him, Saul did not argue. He was listening. Because Samuel was representing his future. Listen, listen, listen. Not everybody is where you are. So, they were once where you are. Find out what was done to rise. Not every key opens every door. That you are holding a key does not mean it can open every door. Some of us have left certain doors, but where you are now, you have never been there before. So listen, pay attention. The key you have opened the door you already passed, but now you're in a new territory. You're in a new environment. You know, while I was coming back from my meeting, I was just praying. I said, oh God, how pretty life can be when you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you the Bible says the Lord is my shepherd this is how I read it if the Lord is my shepherd if the Lord is my shepherd there is something about the leadership of the spirit 
that you are filled with the Holy Spirit does not mean you have allowed him to lead you. If the Lord is my shepherd, then I shall not want. He makes me. He makes me. He makes me. He doesn't suggest. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness. And he does all of that for his namesake. So people just see me in green pastures. People see me restored. But they don't know that there is a force. But the issue is, are you willing to be led? There are many stubborn people who want to succeed. You hear them venting arrogance, flattering their mediocrity. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, what you are receiving cheap like this was not received cheap. A huge price was paid. You can argue this, but I guarantee you, if it is kingdom impact you want, after many years of confusion, you will return back to the same road and God will say you would have followed it long before now. But now that you've gone around by yourself, a journey of 40 days can become 40 years, depending on your willingness to let God lead you. It was never in God's mind for the journey from Egypt to the land flowing with milk and honey to be 40 years. There are many people who are adding trouble on trouble. Every time you disobey the voice of God, you multiply your pain. Every time you disobey the voice of God, you multiply sorrow upon your life. Listen, I'm, I'm talking to you from the depth of my heart. Please, don't argue with the things you are receiving here. It is foolishness. You see me talking my heart out because I do not want us to fail. When your Christian experience does not have the kind of result it has, it's not only God, men will curse you. Jesus looked at the fig tree, expected that within this time range, certain things should happen in your life. And the painful part is most of our loved ones are depending on this. This is what our parents ignored because the knowledge was not scarce. They ignored it. And we paid the price of their ignorance. And if you ignore it, you are transferring the same thing to a generation. Are we together now? It's very important. I will walk a walk in your days. You know, years ago, the Lord told me something. The training that the Lord took me through was so stringent and painful. And I remember one time I said, God, why are you doing this to me? And he said, listen, there are different vessels. There is the clay. There is the wood. There is the silver. There is the gold. Do you know the clay can choose how much it will be transformed? You can actually tell God, stop here. And peg the limit of your impact. But for me, please don't stop. Please don't stop. Till I look just like you. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Till I look just like you. God is doing something powerful in my life. God is doing something mighty in my life. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till I look just like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till I shine just like him. Listen. If you ever want to walk in the anointing, this is it. If you ever want a life of solid impact, you want to tame life as if the devil does not exist, this is the key. The predictability that God's word brings to our life. Nobody successful was born successful. Even if he inherited it, he was trained to receive it. Nobody successful was born successful. Prayer point number one, we're praying. Father, make my life a sign and a wonder. I will not interrupt you. Don't let the pain, 
Don't let the painful experience make me stop you. Regardless of what I say, focus on my spirit. My flesh may be willing. Are we together? Lift your voice and pray. Through Joshua Selman, I will walk a walk through Koinonia. In and through my life, make, make, Hallelujah. Please give us Job 29 again. Let's, let's go back to the scripture that Ejimi shared. Powerful scripture. Job 29. Please hurry up, media. Give us from verse 3. 3. Let's read down to 6. Just 3 verses. From verse 3. When his candle shined upon my head, and when by his light I walked through darkness. Verse 4. The result. As I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. Uh -huh. When the Almighty was with me and when my children were round about me. Look at the results. When I washed my steps with butter and the rock poured out rivers of oil. Read on. Continue. Now, this is what I'm looking for. Write down maybe to verse 10. When I went out to the gate through the city and I prepared my seat in the street. Uh -huh, the young men saw me. And there was a reaction. What was the reaction? How can a man see another man and hide? The Bible said the nation shall see you and fear. There is a level you celebrate a man to a point you become afraid. You are like, no, 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 this, this one is not, I'm no longer clapping. He says the young men saw me. They hid. The only person you do this to is God. A man can become like God. The Bible says they saw Paul and Barnabas and they said these Zeus and Hermes. On, they had to tear their clothes and say we are human beings. What is it that God can do to a man that can make a man become like God? That your words become like God. Men have to advise themselves not to worship you because your life becomes so notable and extraordinary. It says the aged saw me. A young man. When an elder stands up, listen, listen. When an elder stands up before a young man, it's a symbol of honor. An elder stand up. The glory of the old is their gray hair. But there is something a man can do that can make his father stand up. And he said, no, daddy, sit down. He said, me? No, not when you are here. Please hear me. There is such a thing as honor based on your grasping of the laws of the kingdom. That the aged can see you. You are young, but wisdom has made you old. Nine. The princes, you know the condition to be a prince? Trained in the palace, trained in the art of royalty. He said the princes refrain talking. They laid their hands on their mouth. This is not what they did. This is what they did. The nobles had their peace and their tongue cleaved to. They are still arguing with you because your results are not notable. So when you say, they say, let's look at another angle. There is a dimension of the workings of the spirit through a man that will silence every accuser, no matter how arrogant they are. When you are anointed, rich, blessed, influential, let me see the devil that will argue with you. Listen. The Bible says, and Job is one thing to be rich and not be anointed. They can mock you with the anointing. It's another thing to be anointed and broke. The rich can bless you. But when God decides to fortify the dimensions of your life with honor, no salvation can come from any dimension. Lord, turn me into 
a sign and a wonder. Lift your voice and pray. A wonder, Tata Lato Satabayada, a spiritual system that brings glory perpetually. Make sure you are praying. Turn me into a sign and a wonder. God's portrait of wisdom. God's portrait of grace. Shaba baba kataba la 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 la. Reke teke te mo shaba la box. Embe teke sheke te lekata. Embra tala bara soto ba ya la 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 la. Turn me into a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. Galatians 1, verse 24. Galatians 1, verse 24. Listen. I want you to know that God is only glorified when the saints are glorified. I was seated here and I saw a Jimmy's wife moving, beautifully dressed. That's the glory of the husband. So you measure the responsibility and the honor of a husband by the reflection of his wife. Are we together? I want you to read that scripture wholeheartedly. One to read. One more time. Who was ultimately glorified? But who was the vessel? And they glorified God. When they saw the wisdom. They saw the excellence. When people said, ah, nobody can rise. And then you rise as if the devil does not exist perpetually smashing records that men say this cannot be done and you say no I don't know who the this is but the Bible says with God without him many things are not possible but with God and they glorified God I like you to pray and say Lord use me as a tool as a trophy for your glory lift your voice and pray I glorified God in koinonia and they glorified God. And they glorified God. But the result that flow from your life, but the result, the track record of unending wonder, and wonder upon another. Sabarada katabarada ba 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 ba. Glorified God in me, in me, son of a wonder. Hallelujah. 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 And they glorified God in me. Away with that, that rubbish thinking that God is not glorified when you rise. No. And they glorified God in me. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. This is our next prayer point. 1 Corinthians 2 14 God did something a few days ago in my life He brought tears out of my eyes See eh, brothers and sisters I want you to hear me koinonia If you walk with God you will never be ashamed if, listen, if you choose to be spiritual and you are not ashamed. See, I tell you, this man you see has gone. Believe me. This man you see 
has come. I know what I'm saying. You don't hear me speak like this. There is, there is what God can do in your life. You know this flight has taken never to come down again forever. It says, but the natural man received not the things of the spirit of God for they are what? They are what? Another word for foolishness is nonsense. Neither can he know them because you must be spiritual to discern it. Listen, the things we do here are not intellectual at all. We break them down to give you the logic, but you have to be spiritual to walk with God. Many believers are too carnal to receive results. Are we together? We analyze spiritual things from a carnal point. Is it really true that by changing your mind, you no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You have to be spiritual. And you have to be spiritually minded. The Bible says, um, it says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, right? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Then it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had set me free from the law of sin and death. Then he now says what the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh and all of that. He says to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. There are too many believers that are carnal. Carnality is not just talking about fornication and drunkenness. No. Carnality is when you become so sensual that spiritual things look like a mockery to your intelligence, you are carnal. Go around Jericho seven times. I know what many of us would have done. Moses, stretch your rod. You say, no, no, no. We have building engineers. You didn't go to school for nothing. Let's begin to build a bridge and have donation. Let me tell you, those who will survive in these times are those who, I know you are educated and you are intelligent, but brothers and sisters, you must be spiritually minded. This issue of saying, no, let's, let's be serious, let's be real. Let's be real. If any man must ask me out, let's be real. I don't talk too much. So I have to do Facebook connection and, and WhatsApp and the rest. To be carnally minded is death. Bring all your tithes, all these pastors. They just eat people's money. No. No. No, sir. There are many people who are doing things that they don't really believe. It's not a conviction. They will only do it when everybody is around. But how you know you are spiritual is when you can do a thing supervised or not. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are tightened. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are... They, see, let me tell you, there's too much hypocrisy. That's why people don't get results. Believe what I'm telling you. Are we together? Listen to a message and transform your mind. Okay, sir. But you don't believe it. You don't believe it. And it never happens for people. Are we together? Wrong music. Polluted music can plant seeds in your mind. Okay, sir. But we never do it. And so we junk all kinds of things in our spirits and wonder why the outcome is not. Let me tell you, those who get results are those who walk this thing genuinely under God. I'm not talking of perfection. I'm talking of sincerity and diligence. He said, now that you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Are we together? I like us to pray. And you are going to say, Lord, this is my, my scientific, over-exaggerated, um, um, analyzing your ways. I want to, I, I want, listen, listen. God says, I'm going to bless you. But then we, we have to pass God through our scientific system. Oh God, show me how it will happen. God, my God. Hi. 
Have you not learned in the Bible that it was foolish things that brought extraordinary results? That's why Jesus said, until you become like one of these little children. I'm telling you, many of us need to pray for grace to become like children. This adulthood has punished many of us. We are not malleable before God. We can't be children enough to receive. Every time the word of God comes, it meets a wall of arrogant argument. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, spiritualize my mentality. I'm, I'm tired of being carnal. Lift your voice and pray. Make me a spiritual man. Let me believe your word. Please make sure you are praying. If you suddenly anointing, then I believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Don't talk like a fool. There are people when you hear the way they speak, it's as if they don't know God. You speak like a Christian and go back and analyze things with utmost stupidity. We are talking about God here. The currency in heaven is the word of God. If I give you 1,000, hear me. If I give you 1,000 naira, I say, go and buy me something. You buy it. In heaven, God gives you his word and say, go and exchange it. And the Bible says, let it be done on earth. So go to heavenly currency. Take it and you are saying, Lord, I, I know, no. Will it work? The power that created the heavens. His word. If I give you this, I didn't speak, but you take it to a shop. Expecting a result. It says, so shall it be. My word that goeth forth. When I give you, when you say, Lord, bless me, he gives you his word. He says, if you take this word and believe it, take it and you will truly cash it. Listen, let me tell you. My Bible says, he upholds all things by the word of his power. Many people do not believe the word of God. You see this man standing before you? I have carried this word as my life. It's not an instrument for preaching. I have seen it and believed it verbatim unto death. That's what has brought the results that you see. The word of God. Stupid statements from the word of God. I believe you, oh God. No, 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 I will not argue with you. I don't need to know how it will happen. Let understanding follow, but my faith will believe now. Many of our parents have thrown the word of God to look for this. If I give you the word of God and I give you money, you will choose money. How foolish. How foolish. The word of God creates realities. Please believe me when I tell you this. A spiritual man is not a man that prays in tongues necessarily. A spiritual man is, a, is somebody who has submitted to the authority of the word of God to govern his life entirely. If God said it, Joshua Selman believes it. My goodness. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. This word created the heavens and the earth. My life is too small for it not to create it. This word, when you believe it, quarter to shame, God will arise for you. This is what brought the anointing to my life. You see, let me tell you, many of us study the Bible so that we can quote scriptures and deceive ourselves. No, sir. When you open this thing, I see things like, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me. This is Jesus speaking. The works that I have done, he shall also do. Do you really believe it? He says, for by this faith, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand. You can understand through science. You understand through faith. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, everything you have spoken over my life, I believe. I don't know what made me doubt your word, but tonight I believe. Lift your voice and speak. 
but believe it there is a blessedness of mockery Let I cast away doubt I cast away doubt I'm a believer a solid believer in a living God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible is full of God's vow for your success. His vow. How many times did God swear by his name? By his name. He says your gates shall be continually open. That's what he said. Listen, many of ah, look, look, let me tell you. When, when you want to get results, please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stop running after men. I believe in destiny helpers, but it comes from above through men to you. It does not come from men. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from above. I will lift up my eyes. Take the word of God. Lord, you said this. I can't be barren forever. Your word said this. They say I have no womb. That's what they said. They are practicing. Your word said that my children will surround my table. Listen, we are becoming fetish the more we ignore God's word. Believers are becoming fetish because they are looking for alternatives to God's word. Anything the word of God cannot do. I, I assure you, it will not be done. Are we together? Please take seriously what I'm saying. We really need to become spiritual men. Spiritual men are word addicts, not word quotas. Those who live by the word and even if they perish, that they perish with the word. And quota to shame, you will see God alive to come and defend you. Jeremiah 1.12. Please give us Jeremiah 1.12. If you can get amplified, that's great. Otherwise, just give us King James. We are praying. Please, media, help us. Let's hurry up. Jeremiah 1.12. I want us to read it together. One to read. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, uh -huh, for I will what? Who will perform it? You are not the person performing it. So when God says, I will bless you, leave the dynamics to him. Your job is to believe him and find out how he, just find out what is your part of the deal. Hi. I show you a cheap route to results. Some of these results you see, let me tell you, I don't even know how it happens. All I know is God speaks. I am stupid enough to believe him. And I watch together with the congregation the wonder working power of God. Help me to believe you. Kill unbelief from my life. Lift your voice and pray. I by now, if my faith were alive, I doubt you too much. Help me. Help me. I don't believe. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. Whatever makes you to ignore the word of God, let me be sincere with you, is destroying your destiny. Are we together? If you do not know what God has said, then you don't know how to commit it. God is only committed by his word, not your tears. He's moved by your tears, but he's committed by his word. Number three, 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. We'll pray this and two more prayer points and we're done. But I want you to pray. 
pray. These prayers will bring results in your life. I like us to read it. One, two, read. Uh huh. Oh, come on, read it as if you are alive. For a great door, an effectual, a door of marriage is open, a door of wealth is open, but it says there are many adversaries. And so, what do you do? You don't discuss with them. You keep them where they belong. There is a warfare dimension of prayer. Listen, listen, listen. The warfare dimension of prayer is when you engage the spirit and you engage the world to establish victories. The warfare dimension of prayer is engaging the ministry of the spirit and engaging the power, the supremacy of the word to deliver results. You force compliance upon the strength of the word. So you pray. We are going to pray. There are forces sitting on the gates of our destiny and say you must end this year like last year. It's time to dislodge them. Open your mouth and prophesy. Come on, engage. Engage the weapons of our warfare. Canal. Koinonia, are you praying? A great door. A great A great door. Anointing a great of victory, a of business, a of nation. but there are many adversaries. I command every force to bow. I command every force to bow. Prophesy. Come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Destiny, the princes of darkness, I come against you by the mystery of the blood, by the mystery of the word, by the mystery of the spirit. Release my prosperity, release my blessing. Release access. Abarata kato shokete baraba. Embrata shatata. Ekele koto shote kata. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Hear me. Brothers and sisters, believe me. When I tell you there is no victory without warfare, anybody who lies to you, hear Joshua Selman say it. There is a place where you challenge gates. They are ancient gates. They stop your father. They will stop you if you let them. I like you to prophesy. Challenge you. Lift your voice and pray. to the destinies of men I challenge you Shaka ta 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 ta, shaka ta 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 ta, embrace it. 
Hear me, crying may help you, but it does not help your situation. Are we together? Listen. There is a law in the spirit called the law of insistence. There was a woman in Luke 18 who was pleading a case before an unjust judge. The Bible says he feared neither God nor man. But she said, revenge me, my adversary. There are powers that have taken what belongs to you. You are going to stand before the parliament of heaven and say, God, you are not an unjust God. I place a demand. I place a demand. Lift your voice. I place a demand. Judgment. Upon the wicked. I place a demand. Judgment. Upon the wicked. They killed my dreams. I place a demand. Judgment upon the wicked by the fiery first anger of God. I place a demand upon the justice system of heaven. There must be judgment upon the issues of my life these large powers challenge thrones hallelujah hallelujah listen listen Listen, do you know why many of us never get results? We give up too easily. We change prayer points foolishly. When you tell God this, you say, okay, God, I bring it down. Whether big or small, it will still take God to do it. Are we together? I'd like you to pray. You are going to force the door of the next level to open. Listen, no door opens by itself. You force it. Lord, your power. Let the door be open. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen, we have two more prayer points. And for me, this is the greatest prayer point we are about to pray this night now. Are we together? The Lord spoke to me 
and said, my people need divine direction. Many people are trapped because they don't know what to do. Confusion is the sign that a deceiver is in a place. One of the indices of the presence of the Spirit of God is absolute clarity of purpose. Jeremiah 33, 3, we are praying. Lamb of God, we worship you. We worship you. Lamb of God, I worship you. Listen, one of the plots of hell, hear me, one of the plots of hell right now against the church is to manipulate every access for reception of direction so that the saints are confused. Hear me, I'm speaking to you prophetically. One of the plots of hell is to manipulate every access that believers use to receive direction, dreams, visions, prophecies, the understanding of the word of God. Are we together? Satan knows that your solution is in your direction. For, listen, listen, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? When I sent thee, I gave you direction. I told you to go to the lost ship of Israel. Very clearly, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? We send ourselves, we guess our way, we guess businesses, we guess job, we guess husband, we guess wife, we guess whatever. See, let me tell you this. That's why I, we pray for being spiritually minded. We are going to open portals for free access to the voice of God. Do you know a man can be grounded for 10 years because he has not had... And, and let me tell you something with believers. God has brought us to a place where if we don't hear God, we don't move. And Satan said, wow, this is strategy. I can take advantage of it. Since a genie is fed from hearing God before moving, let me close every door for clarity. Have you seen three people bringing a prophetic word to the same person? Three different people. They are sincere, but it's a plot of darkness. And you are confused. You want to go into agriculture. You add agriculture. The next day, someone sends you word and says, sorry, are you a genie? I don't know you, but I'm hearing God say you should call me on this. Now, the person called your name, he did not know you. And at the end of it, you are left with confusion. You get people like that. No matter how good you can be, they will. My Bible says, call unto me. Listen, I will not show, you can guess to see any nonsense that you are seeing something from the realm of the spirit. Do you know, let me tell you, including believers, you stand the chance of being manipulated. No matter how accurate you are in interpretation, Satan can take advantage of the laws of the spirit and manipulate your vision. He said, what fears thou? He said, an almond tree. He said, you have seen correctly. A man can see wrongly. It doesn't mean you are demonic. There are ladies that threw away their husband because the devil manipulated them into believing that's not their husband. And they sent him away. Are we together? There are people who threw away destiny helpers. There are some people, the devil uses the face of good people to oppress them in dreams. Have you seen people like that? A brother that wants to marry you, then he comes with a horn in a dream and stabs you. And you get up and meet a prophet and the devil manipulates the prophet. And he says, that brother has a spirit. Your destiny is tricky because of manipulation. We, we laugh about it, but it's a dangerous thing. People are in hot water right now. Various places all around. We are sincere. We seek the voice of God. So Satan sends voices. But the Bible says, call unto me. What is the promise? What is the promise? How will I show that I have answered? I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Lord, where is my job? Where am I going to relocate? I am tired. Today I'm in Saria. Next tomorrow I feel like going to Kano. I I just wanted to ask this lady out. In two weeks, I've seen this one now. I'm confused. It's not straight. Lift your voice and cry. And say, Lord, clear this confusion in my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray.
clear this confusion. I call on to you. Give me clarity. I will not take a step until you speak. So speak, oh God, and let me know you are the one speaking. Hey, na, 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 Call on to me and I will answer. Pray. Lord, I'm at my wit's end. I need direction. I need your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. Pray. He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. He's the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings. He's the Holy Ghost. Seal of the angels to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. I know our time is gone, but please give me a few minutes. We have to slot this in now this night. The next prayer point is the grace to let the will of God be done in our lives. Listen, it's one thing for God to desire his will to be done. But are you willing to let him do it? He said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass over. Nevertheless, not my will. Let me tell you why many of us may never move forward. We come around a dimension. Our wills are so strong. We can never say, Lord, let your will be done. It is absolutely spiritual to say your will be done. Lord, I know, left for me, I want to be in Lagos. But every time you keep telling me, Kano, I don't know anybody there. I'm tired of arguing with you. Let your will be done. It is spiritual to let the will of God be done. Lord, I have vowed that I must marry a millionaire alone. But right now, as you are touching me, let your will be done. I've said it is not shell. I will not walk. But I don't know your ways for me. But Lord, I say your will be done. Listen, if you pray this prayer with all your heart, you'll be surprised at the testimonies that will come. Lift your voice. Grace to let your will be done. Let me not be the barrier to my next level. Let my flesh not hinder me from rising. Let your will be done. No matter how painful, let your will be done. No matter how pleasant, let your will be done. I submit to your will. I submit to your will. I may not know what it is, but I permit it to happen in my life. Let your will be done. Over my career, pray. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Psalms 23. Swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? A little here, a little there, soon your day will dawn. He's at work in you, changing everything.
I like us to read the A part just before the semicolon. Are you ready? One, two, read. One more time. It didn't say the Lord is my escorter. Let me tell you something. The shepherd is the only one who knows where the sheep is. The sheep does not have that level of intelligence. Sheep does not have horn. It cannot fight. Its only defense is the presence of the shepherd. So he says, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. And then he says, I shall not want. The next line, verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in what? Now, this is where these three words. He leadeth me. One more time, say it. Listen, there is a difference between guidance and leadership. You don't lead a man walking side by side by you. Uh -uh. You lead a man by setting the pace. How will you like God to precede you in everything? Including the doors that are closed. Let him walk to it first before you come. He leads me. For a man to lead you, you must have the submission to step back. And say, Lord, if I don't see you in front, I'm not going. I don't care how long that door is open. Listen. Many people ignore the leadership of the spirit. Number one leadership is what? His word, his bond towards your life. He led me. He led me. In this economic climate, you can guess your way around. You can just go ahead and start frying fish just because you think you want to eradicate poverty and suffer frying fish because his hand is not there. Are we together? You can stand up and start selling popcorn because everybody is selling popcorn. And your own is the one that will kill you and punish you. Because copying does not pay. People are left. People are left. Are we together? Everybody is entering a relationship. You just feel, I think I must enter. The day you enter a relationship is the day your life scatters into pieces. Because you are not left. There are too many people walking just based on instinct. There is a place for instinct. But I tell you, not in Nigeria today. Keep instincts aside. It may work in UK. It may work in Singapore. Nigeria's situation is a state of emergency. You must be led so that if you perish, you say, Lord, we said this. Let me tell you something. When you are challenged at the gate of destiny, your consolation and your support will be what God told you before you started the journey. So if he didn't tell you anything at that point, the devil will say, are you sure God told you? Every time Satan comes to people, he challenges the word of God. He told him, did God really say? He told Jesus, if you are the son of God, whereas God said, this is my beloved son. So when he comes to you, he will challenge the word of God. I'm giving us very solid prayer points that will produce results in your life. He leadeth me. I like you to pray and say, Lord, from tonight, I declare that I am the sheep of your pasture. Please lead me. I will not be a fellow shepherd with you. I am not, we are not two shepherds leading ourselves. You are the shepherd. I am the sheep. Pray. In business, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. In marriage, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. In ministry, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. In my academics, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. Lead me, O oh God. Lead me, O oh God, to green pastures. Lead me, O oh God. direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop Oyedeko, among the seven different mysteries that he taught the winner's family worldwide that is responsible for their results, 
is the mystery of divine guidance. Are we together? And the Lord told him that if you are committed to follow, then I will keep leading. If you are committed to follow, so he can get into a forest and God will say like you, he will say, this is the place. And he said, yes, Lord. For many of us, science is leading us. So they tell you, ratio of three to one, or six to one. For every one man, there are six ladies. Science is leading you. Because of that, you are in a desperate search. You wake up in the night, you are on Facebook, you are on WhatsApp, looking for everybody who is your tribesman, looking for everybody who, who knows your father or mother. It is an occultic way of trying to get your destiny because you open yourself to spirits. Are we together? Some of us is statistics and reports that one out of every hundred graduates is guaranteed to get a job within the first two years of graduation. Now that statistics can let it lead you and produce complacency and unseriousness. Another popular statistic it takes six years for any business to at least be established. It may be true, but you have an advantage. Are we together? Divine guidance. Listen, you must make a commitment tonight to halt with everything you are currently doing that you have not heard the voice of God. I don't care what it is. One lady met me one time, happily smiling that she's preparing for marriage. As soon as she spoke, my heart was heavy. God didn't tell me anything. My heart was heavy. I knew she was entering her fire. How I was going to tell this lady now, she wouldn't listen. Because you see, when we are stubborn over our own wills, God will step back. He's not a demon. And I told her, I said, my dear, I don't know who consulted with you, but there is serious trouble. This lady did not listen. Just driving ahead like, like, like a, a, a train without brake. That was how she went. And the next thing, when she got married, I think it was like four months, she found out that the man who married her was actually married somewhere. An irresponsible and a stupid man. He came down, cornered her head, deceived her parents, lied over things he was not doing. Lied about different things. Lied about qualifications. Lied about where and where he had worked. And so on and so forth. And deceived this lady. She sent me a text again. God is my witness. I'm sorry to have to say it publicly. I didn't even reply because I didn't know what to reply. Sometimes, let me tell you, don't say some things are better prevented than corrected. The correction will bring an eternal scar that you cannot clean. This is the word of God probably for somebody. All this rat race of doing it in the strength of the flesh. Why don't you depend on God? You see the funny things Christians do for marriage, for money, for relevance. After praying in tongues, eight hours, ten hours, dry fasting, we, we mock ourselves. Please listen, let me tell you. If you are for God, stand for Him. If you are not for God, stand for whatever you are standing for. If God cannot open a door, trying to open that door is a big frustration and it's foolish. The door will open. That's the danger. But not by God. And it will destroy you and kill you. Divine direction. We need it in Nigeria. Many people are flying out of Abuja simply because there's no national ticket. The question is who told them to come here? And who is asking them to go now? Are we together? You may be running to a place you think is safety. But that's where the devil is waiting for you. And he will honor you here and destroy your life. We've had strange testimonies of divine direction. God said this. God directed me through his word. God said, take three days of prayer and fasting. Say, no, this can't be God. God forbid. God, God, you know, laziness. God said, for one week, wake up by one o'clock every night and pray. But slumber, you snore away the key to your next level. 
that's why I told us, look, we have to be spiritual. Little instructions we used to obey before. Now we throw it away because of science. Now, that doesn't mean you get up and do stupid things. No. The Spirit of God does not make you do stupid things. They may not make physical sense, but there will be a spiritual logic and the presence of God and the honor that he brings must be upon you. Instructions. The next, the key to your next level is in simple instruction. Do you know God can give you a simple instruction? After the service, just come and greet Sam. Lord, why should I greet him? You just come and greet him. At the point you are greeting him, you will stand close to somebody who is saying, there is a job employment, divine direction. And immediately you will apply. And God will wipe your tears. God gave me an instruction last, I think last week. Just one, two, three, four. And I mean, that thing has, I would probably say has changed my life forever. Just a simple instruction. It's not in trying. It's not in hustling. It's in the word of the Lord. It's in the voice of God. Do you treasure his voice? One last prayer. And then we are going to round up. One last prayer. I believe in the anointing. Listen. I don't know how to tell you this thing. For every dimension of spiritual possibility, there is a grace that takes men here. Say there is a grace. Say it. There is a grace. There is a dimension of the anointing responsible for every result. You are going to cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, the dimension of grace needed for this testimony I'm looking for land upon my life. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be tired. We've just prayed for a few minutes. Pray. Lord, I need a breakthrough. But I realize that there is a level of unction that is responsible to deliver this kind of result. in you Jesus I have confidence in you every time and any day I have confidence in you Savior I have confidence in you Jesus Jesus Man, but let me get extraordinary results.
Sing that part again. He would not suffer my food. I prophesy to someone here, you will not see shame this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Every orchestration to bring shame and a mockery to the name of God upon your life. I declare that by a wisdom you yourself cannot explain. May my God turn it around. May my God turn it around. May my God turn it around. I pray for you. Every confusion at this level of your life, we bring it under the wisdom of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any man who has said, let us see, may they see. In the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of result that will make even those who know you to ask you questions. May the God of heaven give it to you. Tear some results. Tear some results. Tremendous results. I want to pray just one more prayer. I believe in the anointing for ease. Listen, things do not have to be hard to mean you are moving forward. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Believe me, brothers and sisters, favor is a sign that God's presence is in a thing. There are some of us who are moving forward, but for every step, you pay for it. I want to pray for you. There, there is grace for ease. I have seen this. I know there is such an anointing where things can happen by divine pace, by divine orchestration. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you have struggled to achieve. I release upon you grace for ease. I release upon you grace for ease. From tonight, easy results, sweatless results, easy results, sweatless results. Hallelujah. You will make a statement and the anointing will amplify it to bring results. Listen. Ease is based on a revelation that you are never alone. There are angels. There is favor. There is divine presence. There are destiny helpers. You have to be aware of all these advantages. Everyone shout, I am not alone. Say it, I am not alone. So, stop doing things as if once it fails from your side, it has failed. Listen, I'm rounding up. I'm sorry for taking time. Just give me one minute. If I am in business with one, two, three, four, five, six people, how many people are in that business? Six. If I fail and they are all responsible, will it crumble it? Answer me. Do you know that the equation of your life, God has put himself inside. There are many divine things. So that, I'm not saying you should be careless, but you are so secured that even when you don't trust yourself, you are still covered. You are only one over many factors. I'd like you to say, Lord, I trust you. I cannot fail. Say it, I cannot fail. Because I am not alone. The favor of God, the wisdom of God, the presence of God is involved in my issue. I'm seeing flashes of light. And every time I see this, I know that it's a sign of angelic presence. And this is what I continue to see. Shabakato Sikata. Jakato Sekete Pratiasada. People are receiving ministrations of angels as I'm speaking now. They're just walking across 
inside, outside, just walking silently. I'm seeing shadows, but these shadows are lights. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know exactly what they are doing, but I know that I see this operation moving. Lord, let nothing hinder the operation of the angelic. It's called a miracle service. Lord, begin to visit everyone one by one. One by one. One by one. One by one. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a hand entering into the body of someone, literally, and drawing out something. I don't know what it is. It looks like, um, I don't know how to describe what I'm seeing now. But in the name of Jesus, this is happening to someone right now. This is happening to someone right now. And someone at overflow three. Someone at overflow three. I'm saying there is a mighty deliverance happening to someone at overflow three. The power of God, like light, is just coming upon you coming upon you and setting you free. Coming upon you and setting you free. Let's be sensitive tonight. Let's be very sensitive tonight. Something is happening here. Right here. Something is happening right here. I see a strange angelic activity something is happening here like an impartation that is happening to someone is drinking of the wine of the spirit an impartation that is happening to someone shalakato sede brehete kete usia daba kalabrande sekete pradishki de dia sada bagati kete belitia Jalakoto Subriatadas Karato Siata Baladaba. Let's just let the Lord do what He's doing. The Lord has not left this place. I'm still seeing rings of fire just going round this road. Just going round this road. Just going round this road. That's what I'm seeing. Rings of fire. Some of it is an impartation of a grace and an anointing. A grace and anointing, a grace and anointing. Shatabalakatos. That's why you came. God sent you to come and receive something. He sent you to come and receive something, and He's releasing that grace upon you, shifting your ministry to another dimension, shifting your ministry to another dimension. Shabarakatos, sabakata. Kante salakote shekete baratos. Let's just allow God do what he's doing. I don't know what it is about this place. But there are two men of God here. I'm seeing the grace for prophetic revelation. Prophetic revelation of scriptures. Receive it is coming on two people here. Prophetic revelation, accurate insight. Shalakato sabaro deshikata. It is not by might. It is not by power. It's by the Holy Spirit. It's by my spirit. God wants to do a thorough work tonight. And please, I want us to cooperate with you. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord is leading me to stand here. I'm standing in this room. Just right here. The angel of the Lord is leading me to stand here. Standing here, 
and I'm seeing fire falling. Fire falling. Fire falling. Let it fall, oh God. Stretch your mighty hand. Oh great one of Zion. The Lord is speaking to someone here. He's saying the reproach that your family went through from February till June. I'm taking away that reproach now. Of course, everybody will receive, but this is for a specific person from February till June was a terrible month for your family. But the Lord is saying, I'm taking away that reproach right now. I'm taking away that reproach right now. I'm seeing a man of God here. Your ministry is not growing at all. You've done all you know to do. But I'm seeing something coming like a leather bag. And it's just coming on you. And the Lord is saying it's a mantle that is shifting your ministry to a new dimension. The word of God is upon that person. The Lord is showing me a businessman. The last three years have been times of intense backwardness and sorrow for you in business. You are a very diligent person. You have searched and searched to know why this thing has not been working. But the Spirit of the Lord is saying He's rising upon you and He's moving you in two months. I see two months. Two months. He's pushing you to a strange dimension of results. Two months. In two months, a strange testimony is coming. Please begin to pray in the spirit. Please begin to pray in the spirit. The first seven rows in overflow one, first seven rows overflow one, I'm seeing a strange angelic activity happening there. First seven rows overflow one, the anointing of the spirit is sweeping. If you belong to the first seven rows of overflow one, I'm seeing a very strange impartation, impartation happening to someone there. First seven rows. Overflow one. Father, this is why you brought us to encounter something that will work. Someone outside is receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You have desired it, the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of praying in tongues. In fact, not just someone outside. I'm seeing this happening to people right now. People are receiving the baptism of the Spirit. 
the baptism of the spirit those who have desired it for a while i'm seeing that anointing fall on people and people are receiving the baptism of the holy spirit and praying in other tongues praying in other tongues lord we give you praise we give you all the honor please be seated if you can once again i welcome you please be very sensitive whether or not you are an usher if someone is under the anointing close to you just just help the person i welcome you once again to our july miracle service i just want to acknowledge two people very quickly will i call it overflow four now the overflow that extends to the roadside there is one person there the call of god is upon you and as i'm speaking now an anointing is coming on that person the people not overflow three not overflow two but towards the roadside there is an anointing the lord is saying by this anointing i am confirming the call that i have for you thank you jesus hallelujah we're honored to have a number of people people have come from far i have been very humbled by the number of people following very closely the deliverance series it only tells me that many people have been dying in silence and suffering secretly and now that god is granting this opportunity um, we thank him for it it's truly a privilege um, we have a few people from hicc lagos um pastor omo Bowale. god bless you honored to have you thank you she's the wife of one of the pastors adorable adorable woman of god they treated me so well i didn't want to come back home when i was there and then miss bonale god bless you thank you let's honor her thank you thank you god bless you please be seated we honor you from hicc in lagos and then i want to introduce someone um a very great man of god all the way from the united states of america hallelujah please help me bless and honor pastor felix bamirin god bless you please come sir please come let's honor him as he comes mighty mighty man of god hallelujah praise the lord god bless you sir i'll just give him a minute or two to just um just say hi and um we had an amazing time with him in abuja and um i plan to revenge this is a revenge mission for what happened god bless you wow praise the lord hallelujah i am so honored to be here um we have been following this ministry uh, the servant of god apostle selman i do not miss Colonia, unless there is a very, very, and it must be a very, very important thing. And the United States is actually ready for you, sir. I can testify. Uh, the doors are opening and the, the ground is ready. Uh, and I have shared with you personally what happened. And the, the ground is ready for you. The nations are opening to you. You have blessed my life personally. You have blessed my friend's life, Pastor Shola Babalola, I'm sure he's hearing right now, in Chicago, Illinois. So thank you so much for being a blessing to the world. Amen. God bless you. I love you, sir. Thank you. Amazing man of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Every other person here, you are welcome. This is Koinonia. And um, everything you have heard, get ready to experience it right now praise the lord you won't believe what the holy spirit told me while i just walked there you notice i just rushed and i came back i had something to share but the holy spirit just spoke to me that i should just sing a song you should just raise a song and that's it so we're just going to walk you know let me tell you something when you when you learn to walk with the holy spirit your life will be a wonder sometimes we are too rigid and careless and proud 
and we put our ego on the line and don't let him find the right of way. Don't forget that he's the one who is the Lord of hosts. Are we together? So, we're going to sing. I don't know what song now. Um, what song? David Damcom, just sing any song that God puts in your spirit. Get the mic. Someone give him the mic. Just as you sing that song, whatever it is, help that person. That song is the message. Listen carefully. While the song is going on, there is an anointing, and then I'll just begin to minister. So you can sit, sit down, sit down, sit down. You don't have to stand. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You're not just ministering. There is grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will sing and you will sing like a mistral. And as you sing that song, it will enter the spirits of people. And there are certain levels of spiritual knowledge that doesn't have to be taught. There are times that you can be still to know. You don't need to hear anything. I want you to be sensitive to the new dimensions that God is introducing us to. Be very sensitive. He's not just the God of the mountains. He's also God of the valleys. He can decide to begin to operate with new spiritual formulas. Your assignment is to be sensitive. I'm telling you, it's like electricity. This is, this is the only way to describe it. And it's just moving from inside, outside, and this, the same way electricity powers a fan, electricity creates several things. That's what will begin to happen. Tonight is a night of deliverance, it's a night of impartation. Go ahead. You just be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is doing. Go ahead.
Spirit is saying, I want you to know me more. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. I want to reveal my presence to you. I want to reveal my glory to you. The Holy Spirit is ministering to us. I want you to know me more. You have known other things, but it's time to know me. The Holy Spirit is calling us into a deeper level of knowledge. I want you to know me more. I want you to know me more. That's what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. To say, I want you to know me more. Man of God, woman of God, prophet of God, apostle of God, I want you to know me more. I'm calling you to a deeper level, a deeper level, a level beyond religion, a level beyond religion. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. I want to show you my presence. I want to show you my glory. I want to show you my presence. I want to show you my glory. The Holy Spirit is a person that can be known. The Holy Spirit is not just a mystery. The knowledge of Him is the victory of the saints. He is called the helper. He says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. He said, from whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. And he sent us his spirit as the helper. The challenge is many people never pay attention. It takes time to know him. It takes time to understand him. It takes time to walk in his presence, but that time is worth it. Hallelujah. restoring your prayer life God is giving people grace for prayer taking away spiritual laziness taking away the excuses that have caused your altar to become barren of fire he's planting a new fire without prayer revival cannot come without prayer revival cannot come the spirit of God in this miracle service is reigniting your prayer you are not a believer if you don't pray you are not part of his army if you don't pray. The grace to pray. The grace to pray. We are at the threshold of a new revival that is coming. And there must be a reintroduction of a fresh dimension of the spirit of prayer. We have seen measures, we have seen faces, but in this season, a fresh dimension. The devil has cheated many people. 
and we go to the place of prayer and just waste our time and we really don't pray but in the name of Jesus restoration of that grace for prayer restoration of that grace for prayer restoration restoration of the grace of prayer Step in to set the captives free.
when you sing, you reign. And when we sing that song, let me tell you something. The kind of deliverance, deliverance is not fighting demons, no. An establishment of the victory of Christ experientially upon your life. Are we together? And there will be a massive, massive turnaround. 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 In a way that will surprise you. Go ahead. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. I want you to really be angry tonight and insist that something must be open in your life. At the count of three, two, we will arise tonight as the God of Jeshua. The one that arrives, he rides upon the wings of the sea. Listen, as you shout that name, it's not a ritual. All I see in this room now is just fire. And I know that the Lord is going to descend with a shout like the warrior that he is. Are we together now? Whether you are in the main auditorium, overflow one, two, three, four by the road, following online. I want you with the simplicity of your childlike faith to shout that name Jesus and that fire will come upon you or just must have them up. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle and I decree and declare it's time to challenge and confront the gates of darkness. It's time for the sons of Jacob to possess their possession. It's time for families to be restored. So Lord, as we lift up this shout to you now, in the spirit, I pray in the name of Jesus that every power and every source responsible for the retrogression in anyone's life and destiny, it's time for it to be true. Are you ready now? One, two, three. I command that spirit. I command that devil. Shako Sato Shabani Kata. What shout? I dismantle gates. I cause yokes and ordinances. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's 
bring them out quickly in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing the spirit of delay. This delay is a wicked spirit. It can tie a life and can tie a destiny. Lift your hands. I see that fire locating a group of people. Not at the count of three. Anyone here under the influence of delay. Any family here at the count of three. May that spirit leave you. One, two, three. I just delay now. I just delay now. I just delay now. Shaka the second take the time. Now, my God, I just delay now. I just delay now. I just delay now. I just delay now. It says, For your shame, you shall receive double. The Lord is ministering very powerfully. I'm still praying over delay. Listen very carefully. I'm still praying over delay. Many of you do not even know that currently is delay in your ministry, in your life. Any dimension you should have entered but have not entered is delay. I say it again. I stretch my hands by this anointing in the name of Jesus. Let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now. Let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now. The fire that will end the day fall upon you now. It says, Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, and then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful fire and a fruitful fire be counted for a forest. I want to pray. I don't know what keys results from our lives. There are many well-meaning believers. There are many well-meaning individuals. You have hands, but you can't eat. You, there is a song we used to sing growing up. It says some have food, but cannot eat. Some can eat, but have no food. This, this is the category I want to address now. You have capacity but no results. Gifted but not rewarded. Gifted but not blessed. Anointed but no one is placing a demand on your grace. Shalakatos. Shalakatos. Ma shalakatos keteketeke shedeketa. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare whatever has hindered your productivity, may the fire of the Holy Ghost separate you and that spirit now. Separate you and that spirit now. There's a category of people God is ministering to me right now. Just, just walk with me. You always do the wrong things. There is a spirit that makes you do the wrong things. The wrong business. The wrong relationship. The wrong friends. You don't know why everything in your life, when there is trouble, that's when you come. Anything good happening, you will go away from it to evil. He says, he says, the Lord's prayer, lead us not into temptation. That means a man can be led into temptation. And he said, deliver us from evil. Lead us not. A businessman can be led into destruction, led into temptation. A precious anointed lady with a great destiny can be led into temptation. 
lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil listen one of the most treasured gifts that you must covet in your life is the ability to hear God clearly the times we live in now guess what will punish you again and again he said the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want here's how I quote it if the Lord is my shepherd then I shall not want when you are many of us hear demons clearly you hear spirits clearly you hear voices nonsense voices clearly you don't need to pray to hear them but do you know that many of us now even our dreams have been hijacked and manipulated you don't even know whether it's God speaking now or not they come as an appearance of light but the message is not consistent with the integrity of God so you don't even know what to believe again dreams are prophetic avenues for the speakings of God to reach the saints but they can be hijacked and manipulated by the powers that be a lady can be manipulated to reject her husband a gentleman can be manipulated to reject his wife a person can be manipulated to reject his voice he is job there are many people they got jobs a spirit told them leave they thought it was God and they left it I'm seeing the Lord is showing me a vision be sensitive something will happen here now and I'm seeing people in the realm of the spirit but I'm not seeing ears imagine like a man no ears this is what I'm seeing now I understand by this vision what the Bible says he that hath an ear physically we are supposed to have ears but right now in the name of Jesus this is not for everybody hold on I'm praying right now there is a grace that will open the hearing of people I stretch my hands Lord where are they the men and women that need to hear you in this season for ministry to move forward I stretch my hands representing the hands of God and I command the hearing ears be open now Papa look at this please help them be open now be open now for business be open now for ministry be open now for your career be open now hallelujah and Isaac sowed in that land he sowed in a specific there is a geography to increase it doesn't just happen everywhere there are people today if the devil wants to destroy them he will give them visa to UK they will think his breakthrough not every open door is anointed there are times the devil destroys you by opening doors it's not always closed doors there are open doors that, that are open doors towards doom he said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death mm. Thou shalt show me the path of life. He said, for it is in your light that we see light. We are going to cry for divine direction. Many destinies are tied down now because of divine direction or lack of it. Lord, what is the next phase of my life? You can't remain like this and just sit down. What is the next season? What is your blueprint? Lift your voice and pray. Show me, oh God. I buy into the mind of the spirit. What is your communication for my ministry, for my life in this season? I don't want to be found where you were. I want to be found where you are. Pray. He that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying, not what he said. What he's saying. What he's saying, what he's saying, he said the spirit speaketh expressly, not the spirit spoke, the spirit speaketh expressly. Direction, okay. Listen, listen. Let me talk to us a little, especially I know that 
a generation of young people who are very proud. We just believe that just because we went to school, we can determine the course of our lives with intelligence. No. Destiny is not just academics and education. You must cry part time per second for revelation. This ministry, by the grace of God, we are where we are because, not just because of the ability to hear God, but the ability to stay until he says move. Tiredness can tell you to move. Weariness can tell you to move. He said, if your presence goeth not with us, don't send us from here, oh God, we are not going. Do you know it is costly to go without God? It's cheaper. The pain of your waiting is cheaper than the pain of knowing that you are where God is not. There are men of God that started well, but people encourage you and say, this is how they do it in ministry. When you get to this level, this is the next step. And you foolishly took a step. A step that ate away your destiny and your progress and your blessing. Hallelujah. It matters that we understand times and seasons and that we can wait until God says move. I remember after our second crusade in this ministry, the next year, we're discussing and they say, where are we going? I went to the Lord and the Lord said, you are not going anywhere. And I said, okay, we're not going anywhere. Ah, but I thought we'd do it every year. Mm -mm. Be careful. The ritual of religion can destroy you. God used to do th this way. It doesn't mean he has to do it the same way. The most important thing is let it be him doing it. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness you are merciful. Redeemer of my past and present wrongs. You're the holder of my future days to come. Nothing in this world says Jesus, you're the cup that will run We live our lives being in a hurry is not the same thing as speed. God is a God of speed. I don't know why I'm preaching this now. This is part of the miracle service. God is the God of speed, but God is not the God of rush. There is a difference between speed and rush. Many of us, the Spirit of God is speaking to someone here. You need to calm down. The way you are running with your life, you are going to land in trouble. The way you are running with ministry, you will land in trouble. The way you are approaching marriage, the way you are approaching destiny, you will land in trouble. Culture and the sociological um, context of our living can mount pressure on us to run ourselves to the ditch. My soul wait thou upon the Lord. God is a God of speed. But until he speaks, you are on your own. It's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving. Running but not moving. And here comes a man, as weak as he is, but he can walk at the pace of God. And more can be achieved in one month with God than 10 years alone. Have you not learned the excellency of walking with God? He said, for with God, all things without god outside of god there are things that are not possible apostle my life i don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side i must make sure that i build a house now i must and god is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be lord of your life i say lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together god is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling 
putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if God does not lead me I'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the Lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait gone are the days that people say I'm I'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the Bible says except the Lord built a house listen very carefully he says they labor in vain that build it except the Lord watches over a city man of God listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my Bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow I'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the Bible says he gives his beloved sleep There are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves, punish their wives, punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people, come. It's not that way. Paul, a man approved of God. Jesus, a man approved of God. Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. No. There are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life and say, I've been running since 2005. What have I done with my life? Absolutely nothing. Oh, come Lord Jesus. Come and direct me. Give me direction. Are we together? The race is not to the swift. And the battle is not to the strong. Not even bread for them that are wise. When a man subscribes to the direction of God, your life may look controversial for a while, but all that will be before you is beauty and glory. Then your life will become Beulah and Hepzibah, the delight of the nations, the excellency of waiting. The hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait. It's easy to rush. It's easy to do a lot of things. You will make more mistakes in your life rushing. There is power in waiting. Are we together? There is power in waiting. We're going to pray for the sick now. There's a lot to do tonight. But listen very carefully. If this message is for you, then I want you to receive it from the depth of your heart. You know, when we come like this, there are various things that the Lord is doing to several people. Not everyone is sick. Not everyone is oppressed. But a word can come and God says, be careful. There are people about to relocate now to regions. They've not sought God. They just assumed. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is no place on earth called greener pastures. Greener pastures is a spiritual location. It's where the voice of God for you is. God is already helping someone. How many Nigerians smuggled their way through the desert trying to get to lands because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern, appreciate, and reward value. That's all. They have a greater propensity to discern, to appreciate, and to reward value. 
you can be where you are if you are truly directed by God and he will come to you and bless you are we together now how many of you are trusting the Lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer I want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on Friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now I promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of God is an opportunity to watch Lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can I learn you must remain a student we're all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting God for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on I want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please I want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting God for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you are here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe asked you or prophesies to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you I notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the Lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the Lord is showing me something about this woman <laughs> You don't have fallopian tubes at all. Oh my God. They've removed it. Your husband got another wife. Creator of the universe, what can you do? and sisters let me tell you something I'm not trying to embarrass this precious lady I don't know you I'm just seeing you for the first time I'm not a woman so I can't pretend to say I know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and I'm asking it boldly do you believe that God can give you new fallopian tubes Where are you coming from? Madam, let me tell you, there is a God that sits in heaven. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker. Put your hand on your stomach. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus. Father, that's all right. I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes. The God that doeth wonders. Brand new fallopian tubes. I say it again. Brand new fallopian tubes. Madam, allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital. Give Jesus praise. Please help this woman. It's an elderly woman. Help her, help her. So she help her. In the name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you in Jesus' name. The Lord is showing me somebody. Just, just hold on. You, you will sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. 
I'm saying that someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. And the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I declare to you, not only will you or your brother be healed, I decree and declare salvation comes to your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sing for us that song, Creator of the Universe. Creator of the Universe. What can you do? What can you do?
looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing fibroid. Is that true? How long? Seven years. Fibroid. Confirmed in the hospital. That devil is going to leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have children, ma? I'm not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God, Almighty God.
Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout to say in the name of Jesus. 
I prophesy over the next half of this year. Hear the word of the Lord. Become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone. Shalakato Sabra Hasile Kadebakata. Make sure you are praying. Praise God. Seasons of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. So after me, in the name of Jesus. Please let's be serious. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of the anointing. Required for my next level of exploits. I receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and please pray. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. That's the next prayer point. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. says and I will restore unto you the years that the canker worm the caterpillar and even the palmer worm has taken say in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare.
the name of Jesus Christ. Say it again, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over my loved ones. Hear the word of the Lord. This is your season of rising. Lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones. Please believe what you are saying. Prophesy. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. This is your season of rising. A new level, a new dimension in the spirit. Exodus 14, 14 says, the Egyptians you see today, he said you will see them for no more forever. I like you in the next five minutes. Everything that has attempted to mock God in your life, don't be afraid. Open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the Spirit, you are living my life and my family forever. Open your mouth and pray. Declare thou that ye might as be justified. Pray. Don't entertain unbelief. I cause poverty. I cause failure. Pray. Jesus cause the victory. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my help comes from above. I decree and declare that my help comes from the Lord. And in this season, I prophesy to my destiny, Ebenezer received the help of God. Lift your voice and pray. Come for help.
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Was he praying? Many of us here, all you need is the ministry of helpers. Are we together now? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Do you know why he spoke about the hills? Because God used the strategy of the hill to protect the people. Every time there was war, he would lift them up the hill. And if they got there, there would always be victory. Remember Elijah. When, it, when there was time for any contest, he would say, go up the hill. Mount Carmel, Mount Zion, Mount this and that. And so he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he said, no, no, no where comments my help he said my help the, the hill is only a strategy the hill is not my source and then he says my help cometh that means just like faith help to cometh faith cometh help cometh your help can come from other places by divination and witchcraft a man can attract a system of attention but he will pay for it listen Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man. Blessed is a man that finds help from God. Many people are suffering because there is no help. Life can be cheap when there is help. Believe me when I tell you this. How much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it? How much is it? What is the job issue with a single signature? A man's life can change. But I told you, every man who helps you has relatives who are in need. It takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you. This world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default. I'd like you to cry, Father, in this season, I'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny helpers. Please open your mouth and cry. Be serious. Some of you are looking at me. Pray, pray. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. This prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service. And I want you to pray because people are receiving results. We are still going to pray over the issue of help. Let me tell you the truth, brothers and sisters. You see, this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God. My life as a person is a product of the help of God. It is vain, my Bible says, to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow. He said, for he giveth his beloved sleep. There are men of God that need help. There are anointed people that need help. There are intelligent graduates that need help. There are married men and women that need help. 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all in god can step in and you have value you are package your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at the church? my god arise for me as a helper Shaka Barakatos, Shaka Takata Kataka Takata, Rakata Pakatos, Shama Sonda Barakatos Yatakata. Help for my family, O God. We cry for your help. Pray for your business. Arise, O God, as a helper. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that breathe. And then said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for us. He said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen, you are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> In Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful they will not persecute him but he was one out of many i saw the sun the moon and 11 stars bowing to one person and the brother said no way and they walked him out my bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household sometimes it's not binding and casting lord show them mercy too so that as i'm rejoicing they will rejoice and leave me in peace are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones. Financial help, spiritual help, career help. Help, oh God. Sapakatos, Sapros Ketabarakato Shanamakata. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37 and he took me in the spirit of the Lord and he took me to a valley and the Bible says that valley was full of bones and it says the bones were very dry bones don't dry up in one day it means they have been there for a long time we want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go you were born and you met that problem you have become an adult, you have met that. No, 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 it must go. That it has stayed long does not mean it's valid. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dry bone in my life and in my family, hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare, let life come to you now. Lift your voice and pray. Prophesy life. Your father lost his job since 1991. Till today, he has not gotten a job. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. 
hear the word of the Lord. Oh ministry, hear the word of the Lord. Oh business, hear the word of the Lord. Oh destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there is power. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, and as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there, but there was no life. He says, Son of man, prophesy again to the four winds. And say, O wind, breathe upon this slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the bones, and there arose an exceeding great army. Listen, God is able, God is able to turn a man's captivity overnight. He said, have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day? But he said, as soon as Zion travails, we know that birth is nine months. But something can happen to the rod of Aaron and it can burn overnight with no root. I like you to say, Lord, let the supernatural work in my life in this season. Business at a supernatural rate. Ministry at a supernatural rate. If it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous in my eyes. Lift your voice and pray. As soon as Zion travails, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. As soon as Zion travails, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostle said, I desired once again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Your breakthrough desire to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Your helpers desire to come to you. <sighs> Have you seen a situation, Jimmy, where someone is about to bless you, but before you reach your helper, your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you. He said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity. Please, I'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray. We're not here to waste time. Brothers and sisters, this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom. Are we together? He says, do not be ignorant of the devices, the methodologies from the word stratomai, the methodology of Satan. There are methods. He said, do not let your good be evil spoken of. Have you seen that that's a method? That I call you and Satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm. I just call you to say, how are you? And he says, so you are mocking me. It's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good. Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him. Do you think they just didn't please carry your healing rubbish and go? How many men of God were sent by God to families to help them? But the devil changed their perception over that grace. Say, no, 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 no. Anything pastor, they are all riffraffs, they are beggars, they are liars, they are hungry people. They just want my money. It's a strategy. Someone wants to teach you something and help you. Say, no, this, this guy, don't, no, 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 no. I desired once again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. How many people today would have been helped by God? Are we together now? You heard that they are applying jobs. 
but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same it's the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of Zarephath. The fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of God is insufficient. Please listen to me. There are people today who have been ordained to be blessed, to listen. But Satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is God. Are we together? I remember a few years ago, I went to a house to pray for them. I was invited. And I got to the house. I usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them. And I went to the house and uh, um, I just saw the man, the, the owner of the house, the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me. Here they come, these hungry young men again. I tried to greet him. I even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion. And that man, from what I saw, didn't have up to two months to live. And I sat down, I was talking with the family and the man was just looking, you know, you know, all this, do, do and leave my house. Until by the mercies of God, God began to speak to him. At the end of it, it was him that escorted me out. He said, ah, ah, you, are, you, are, you know, my panic collected my, I said, look at this man would have missed this miracle. Brothers and sisters, some of our loved ones, you know what I'm saying, are like that. Their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years. They organized a program near your house. And they say, no, 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 no. Once it is not you, it is not God. It's an error. What of business opportunities? Just because people have been scammed here, just because something came out and something happened, there be anything business, God forbid. Don't even mention anything. Oh, sorry, dear. So, no, 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 no. Don't talk to me. And then you remain poor and broke and say, God, what is wrong? He told Joshua, be strong and of good courage. In life, it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes. 28 of Genesis, God came to Jacob and Jacob, out of his fear and cynicism, was not ready for that visitation. The next verses would lead him to the house of Laban where he learned by his pain. By chapter 32, he was ready. The Bible says when God came again, he held him. He said, whether you are not God, I will shall hold you. It's in your holding, I will find out. I won't let you go till you bless me. He said, what is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, thou shalt no more be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God and you have prevailed. And he touched his tie and blessed him. And the Bible says, then the sun arose and he called the name of the place Peniel. For he had met with God face to face. I have seen God face to face and my life arose. And the Bible says, then the sun arose. Because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy. For as long as it is night, weeping endures. Are we together? I want us to maximize these meetings. Let's not just come before God and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back. It's time for us to move. The Bible says how forcible are right words. You are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you. Are we together? I know I took, I think I took, I don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny helpers. Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen, a helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. 
some men came to David in a cave called Adulam and they vowed that we must make you king. You are seeing a man who is already weak. No result. Ah, when your helpers come to you, it will look like a charm. There will be no reason for them to remain. They will call you. Have you gotten the job, sir? No, sir. Ah, after, okay, I'm going to Abuja for you and you start saying, I hope there's no string attached. No, 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 no. I only saw myself helping you in a dream. Are we together? Every destiny helper has those in need. Please hear me. Graduates, hear me. Oh. Every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected. But when God decides to help you, he said, Jacob, have I loved? Jacob, have I loved? Hallelujah. Jacob, have I loved? God changes the rules. I see this unfair to you. Hapa. There is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation. When you, when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship, you can't give. But if it's freely you received, it freely you will give. Are we together? Your destiny is one helper away. By the privilege of God's grace, I've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people. And overnight, they got jobs without interview. Just because I happen to know someone in a position of influence. And I say, sir, please. There is someone, can you help me? I say, Apostle, if it's you, that's it. The same way someone too has spoken, it's the help of God. We rise by his help. Your business will open up by his help. Everything you have is needed on earth. But it takes God to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace. It is the help of God that brought us here, brothers and sisters. The help of God. There are pastors that need the help of God. You can blow balloon and put it around. You can do everything and find out that the people come and say, it's cold. Don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you. Yet somebody called by God to help you will stand in the rain and say, I'm sent and I'm not going anywhere. When last did you receive help in your life? When last did you receive help? Please hear what I'm telling you. Do you know if you do things alone and by yourself, you are not blessed? Even if you succeed in doing it. Help. Help. That God arises for a man and say, young men established within 10 years, but I have chosen promise that in one month, I will do, I will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you, you will not believe. Hallelujah. A few weeks ago, someone called me. He was, he was, he's planning on getting married. And he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago. And the list was quite voluminous and it challenged him. And he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of God or not. I told him, I said, no, that, that is a foolish, that is a foolish concern. Are you seeing, the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list. You are now seeking whether it's the will of God, going behind. What is there to ask whether it's the will of God or not? Listen, I know that it looks like it's just a joke, but it's a serious issue. How many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help? No help. Ask the medical doctors, they will tell you. You buy a car alone. You look for food alone. You walk alone. You seek counsel by yourself. You advise yourself. No helper. You see people moving like Cain all around. Nobody to help. Nobody to advise you. Their pastor, Pastor Bolaji, do you know sometimes Pastor Bolaji would call me 
and say, man of God, how is everything happening? I hope here in the north there's nothing, you know, this and that. You're fine, everything. And I say, oh, pastor, you're a busy man. Why do you have to do this? And he said, we need to encourage ourselves. And I said, my God, help. 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 Are you ready for God to really help you? Our message is by the grace of God. I've been spread on eagle's wings. It's by the spirit, but it's through the help of men. 70% of the invitations where I go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say, bring this man of God. I know. So all these people from the north, no, 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 no. I know this one. Who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates? Because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed. But it will take Mordecai. Uh, Mordecai, Mordecai is outside. But Mordecai needs to find favor with the king. But it would take God using someone inside. Joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne. A wine presser needs to split your case before the king. One more time, Father. Listen, listen. Whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level, please send them, to, send them my way. I, want, I, I cry that you pray with all your heart. Men can be helped of God. My help cometh from the Lord. There were many widows in Zarephath. They all needed help. But to none was Elijah sent except a widow in Zarephath. How about the rest? There were many widows also needing help. But God chooses to send a prophet to just one of them. Hallelujah. The last prayer point and then we'll pray here. The Bible says, according as his divine power, please listen, hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life. I should not serve God and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food. He says, since I was young, now I am old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. You know, many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom, they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life, it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual. I can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly. Are we together? The ladies that go into prostitution, do they go into prostitution with poor men? The young men that join occult, all these cult groups, vibrant young people, and the next thing you see, they are in a devilish cult somewhere. It's easy for us to criticize them, but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families. Compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity. As a man of God, I must be compassionate enough about your situation. Thank God for your spiritual life, but I want you to do well. That's what success means. Are we together? I have food in my house right now, but do you have food? Only a wicked man of God will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others. A true shepherd lays down his life, doesn't climb on the ship. Some of you sow into my life. I must teach you how others will also sow into your life. It can't be all about me. You are bringing seeds. You are blessing me. And I'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life. But how about you? I came with a passion tonight. If one person rises in a ministry alone, is that a blessing? No. He called many sons to glory. Not a few. There are many of you with business ideas 
there are many of you with ministries. There are many of you desperately waiting for a job. And men are beginning to say, where is your God? You are no longer young. You have been praying and fasting and doing all of this. If you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with God, we will stop you from coming for koinonia. Or we will stop you from doing this. And God wants to arise and prove himself mighty. Why won't you pray well when you eat well? Why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for? I have the privilege by the mercies of God to support many families here. And sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears. After a powerful meeting and I see someone standing and say, Sir, my children, once upon a time, two dear ladies here for five years, Ejimi, just to buy jam for beautiful, wonderful, godly ladies. And that's exactly what Satan wants. After the prayer, after falling under the anointing, you get up and your needs remain. And you sit in the night and say, look, can't I do something? The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest they dip their hands in iniquity. Many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly. Was it not hunger that took Israel to Egypt? Talk to me. Was it prosperity that took them there? No. There was hunger in the land and Israel had to go to Egypt to look for food. They went to Egypt and stayed until they became slaves. When they began to say it's time for our exodus, Pharaoh looked at them and said, uh -huh, you are beginning to find some level of convenience. Don't give them straw. Is because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the Lord. Leave them to find straw by themselves. And they say, Moses, don't go to Pharaoh again. Every time you want to rise, it's like a, it's like a thermometer. The devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate, economically and otherwise. I stand to tell you, you can be of influence. You can be prosperous and you can be spiritual. Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he said but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly. All of a sudden, you find out that your wife is pregnant. And they say, just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine. Say, I don't have anything. Say, well. The God that we serve is a victorious God. Are we together? Many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom, but the means is not there. Listen to me. Listen to me. For as long as you are not empowered, you will remain a slave in life. I give you a guarantee. For as long as you are not empowered, you will remain a slave. The anointing comes upon you, but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence. It took a man of influence called Joseph of Arimathea to get Jesus from the cross. It was not a prayer warrior that brought Jesus from the cross. A prayer warrior supervised his birth, but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection. We're a ministry of prayer. We're a ministry that fasts. We're a ministry of the word, but we must be a ministry with results that are all around. 
and Abraham was old and well stricken in age and the Lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like Naaman you may be the captain of a great army the Bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life I'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present Christ well let's cry together and say God you have done well in this area and I thank you but Lord I cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the Lord Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. same power that raised Christ from the dead the Lord every request here before you upon this altar I ask my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies It is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and Lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
Lord, there are issues here that only God can solve. Some of the issues represented here are life and death issues. We will search for you and we will find you. We will find you with all our hearts. We will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart Lord I will search for you and I will find you I will find you with all my heart and I will lift my voice to you in worship I will worship You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you Above all names, I decree and declare over your life let a new dimension of testimonies come upon you in like a mighty rushing wind in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare everything that represents shame and reproach in your life. I cry to the God of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every man of God represented here. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every issue of concern in your career, in your business and in your life, I send the word of God like a messenger to reproduce the garden of Eden over your issue. In the name of Jesus Christ. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him. I declare, whoever must be at peace, must be at peace with you to rise. I command peace to happen between you. Master, we have toiled all night. He said, nevertheless, at thy word. I want to prophesy to you. Where you failed before, go back again with an anointing. Amen. 
go back with the grace that makes men succeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord visited Sarah. And she called the name of her son Isaac. He said, all those who hear about this will laugh with me. I introduce you to a new season of laughter. 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 Turn again our captivities like the streams of the naked. I pray for you. It will be like a dream of the night. The way God will turn your life around. Anyone here under the plague of death, any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy. I decree, O oh death, where is thy sting? And O oh grave, where is thy victory? I command death to pass from over you in the name of Jesus. He said, let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield. Every ground can yield. I command your ground to produce for you. Daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downward it said but there is a God that revealed secrets I pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it Bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and Isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed I decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of Jesus Christ it says thou causes men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place i decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you i say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally i pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the lord has made a, declar a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore i decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders i say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus hallelujah paradventure you are here in this place tonight everyone please listen please no moving around let's honor the name of the Lord you are here you have seen what the Lord has done You've heard me teach and the Holy Spirit began to convict you to tell you that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously. I want to give you that opportunity right now. There are people here saying, Apostle, I've heard about God. I've been around the things of God. I've been around church. I have a Christian name. My father may even be a man of God. My mother is an intercessor. But I, I declare my need for God tonight. And then there are others here who are saying, Apostle, I have given my life to Christ. But at one point or the other, I just found my life going haywire. And I'm saying, I need Jesus. If you belong to any of these categories, I'd like you to make a bold step. Overflow 1, overflow 2, the main auditorium, you can walk and come out here. And then overflow 3, you can go 
in front of your projector stand. If you are there, please make your way quickly. Let's honor them as they come. The Holy Spirit is convicting someone. Don't wait for someone to come. Be the first. God bless you. Koinonia, are you appreciating them? In the name of Jesus Christ, there has to be someone making a decision for Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping as they come. Win that war tonight. Win that war. God bless you as you come. It says, he that cometh to him, he will in no wise cast away. Make your way. Make your way to this front. God bless you. Keep coming. We have one minute for you. If you're coming from outside, please double up your steps very quickly. Very quickly. Say, call for total surrender. Lord, you gave me your life. I'm giving you mine right now. Are there people still coming? Make your way very quickly. Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. I've been around the things of God, but I'm not exactly sure. Join them. Join them quickly. When the Titanic sank, there were only two names. Those who were lost and those who were saved. No in-betweens. Make your way quickly. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you. If you are joining them, please join them very quickly. Overflow 3, you can move to the front of your projector. Those online giving their hearts to Jesus, just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to lift your right hand sincerely. You are not reciting a poem. You are speaking to the Lord. And he's here listening to you. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it again. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for me. I believe that you were raised up for my justification. Tonight, I hand over my life to you and I receive your life in return. I declare that the power of sin, the power of sin. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.